Hi, I'm Jeff Rule. Thanks for watching Theatre News. And I'm Stephen Boxer, and thank you too for watching Theatre News. <laughs>
really nice theatre. I've seen this place grow from a building site because yeah. I live a mile up the road. Oh, really? I never thought theatre like this would come to Finsbury Park yeah. in a million years when I moved here 24 years ago. Same here. I, I live yeah. just up the road yeah. and yeah. amazed. Yeah, it's, it's like it's similar in the in sense to the tricycle theatre where you kind of get this wonderful. You know that the people coming off are local, and it and it's it's very well um, supported. I, I, yeah, I no, no, incredible. It's always and, full up uh, a cafe in the middle of you know an area where you think, well, maybe you know, chances of finding a theatre in Finsbury Park by the tube station are pretty slim. But here it is, and it's a fantastic place. And it's it's interesting, a yeah. lovely place to come for a cup of tea and a yeah, yeah, bun. definitely. That's the other thing. Really it's nice it's not just a theatre. It's a, it's a meeting place. Yeah, it's full it's all day long with yeah, people, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, and. Um, I, because I'm local, I'm, I've been to it here a few times, I'm very aware of that. People treat it like they're local, like they're their local theatre. It's, you mm. know, they could almost bring sandwiches and tea. I'm <laughs> glad they don't, but mm. um, that's not yeah. a bad idea. No, <laughs> are you see the people up there writing their next play, you know, there's people with computers and yeah, stuff. Yeah, no, no. People no. meeting and talking about projects and stuff, so it's quite a kind of buzzy place. It is, it has got that like sort of atmosphere that yeah. people are creating stuff. Yeah, inside yeah. this space. Yeah, you would have, you would have thought in this day and age that these kind of places would have died out, <laughs> died to death. But yeah. uh, with places like the Orange Tree in in Richmond and let's say um, Tricycle and yeah, yeah, Hampstead and all these places I've, I've actually worked at this year, they're great places to work because they they're um, yeah doing new stuff, good stuff, and um, they're well attended. And yes, yeah. partly because I think you get a crossover audience, particularly when you've got I mean. Jeff's done a lot of telly, I've done a bit, but um, Joel and uh, and Tom, they're both quite hot on telly at the moment, yeah, so yeah. You're, you're drawing in their sort of followers and their all sort of audience as well, yeah. and, um, and Jeff's yeah. well known for Hollyoaks and all that sort of stuff, so you're getting younger people in. It's, uh, A, it's great for us if you do, to, you know, to have, to keep doing live theatre, because it's, it's more muscular you have more fun mm. it belongs more to you and it brings in this audience who mm. you know they don't just want to see you on the telly or on the screen mm. on netflix yeah Absolutely. you do an episode of something and it's all very well and nice on the telly but it's you know it's a one-night stand and it's gone and you'd never really know what people thought about it cause it will probably never be reviewed it will probably never be you might meet someone on the street who saw it but i i never watch television i don't have time but I, I mean, always mostly working in the theatre, I suppose, is one of the reasons. But but it, it doesn't have the same sort of being in the theatre and, and and having that opening night and then subsequently improving the show as you go along and, and forming a kind of company. And uh, that seems to me to be the, the best thing about acting, really. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. I mean, how do you both warm up for a show? Got any particular rituals that we you We have a lie down, don't we? Yes. <laughs> yeah, sometimes we have a lie down. There's not much space in the dressing room. <laughs> eat, eat an avocado. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's five of us in one dressing room. It's yeah, quite it's interesting tight. when five people are trying to sleep under, it is, yeah. <laughs> under the counter. Yeah, <laughs> it's very <laughs> tight. Yes, and but um, it's like sardines. Yeah. No, I do. Uh, you do I a do fight warm-up. I do. I do. We do a fight warm-up. It's so a big fight night. scene. It's a big fight. Ah. So they have to do that for safety. Oh, yes, and safety. Yes. I don't. Um, I, I eat a sandwich. So <laughs> I, obviously, yeah, I eat a sandwich yeah, in the dressing yeah. room too. But his teeth are very strong. And no, I, I do warm up every night. It's just the way I've, I've always been. Depends how you feel, doesn't it? You think, you yes, sort of feel like yes. A car, physical so. and vocal. And I got the, the whole series mm -hmm. of silly speeches that I do and voice exercises. And um, I feel like if I don't do that, I'm like this is my raw material. This is my instrument, mm. and I'm out of tune if I don't do something to it. Talk me up. Mm. Yeah, no, absolutely. Before the evening goes on. That's right. And if I don't get a chance to do one, I always feel a bit under. <laughs> so I, I like to get a warm up. And you've you both had a varied career, theatre, TV, etc. Um, what are your sort of highlights to date that you'd sort of pull out individually? Mm. You go first. Oh, blimey. That could be tough. To think. Well, I mean, it took me. I've done a lot for the RSC. And one of, one of my highlights actually was working with Michael Fentiman doing Titus Andronicus. Ah. Uh, we had a great time. Which, funny enough, has a has an ending very similar to the ending of this, sort of <laughs> chaos and blood, basically. Um, <clears throat> but uh, that 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 was definitely one of my highlights. I mean, I was uh, I was uh, I was forty before I worked. My ambition was always to work for the National and the RSC, and 
When I was 40, I worked for both those companies in the same year, and I've worked for them on and off ever since. Um, and I've had some great times. I did King Lear playing Gloucester a couple of summers ago with Sam Mendes and um, Titus with Michael. And uh, But then I did a tour of Shadowlands last year, which uh, is a play I actually loved doing. And we played sometimes to big houses, sometimes we played to 59 in Portsmouth. <laughs> but it was still, it was a joy to do. Yeah. Um, so, you know, there are, there, are, there are many highlights. A lot of them in theatre, but one or two in, in, in film and telly as well. Yes, yeah. yeah, so I think it's, it's often the people, isn't it? <coughs> but, um, well, material's got very important too. I mean, I, I've really loved uh, working with Michael on this. That's been a great treat. I've just loved working with him. He's been great. Um, but I think, you know, Drop the Dead Donkey was, for me, I suppose, one of those wonderful jobs where everyone was brilliant on the team. We, we're still very good friends. We still see each other. We had a bit of a reunion the other night. Ah. It was really good writing. And we were also being paid very well, so <laughs> it doesn't get much better than That's that. That's nice. That, that was a very nice, nice combination yes. when all those things come together. Yeah, yeah. But often, you know, it's the case that you're doing really good work, but you don't get paid anything. Sometimes you get them paid loads of money and it's rubbish. <laughs> but, you know... How yeah, bad that's you know that's the patchwork yeah. it's nature. It's, it, it, it's always different. It's a, every job has something different. To yeah, come yeah. With, I, I mean, you both sound like you're happiest on stage or, or you know in front of the camera. Yeah, I mean, I mean there was, but I mean I was in the Iron Lady and theoretically I was playing Margaret Thatcher's mentor, Sir Keith Joseph. Yeah, I had hardly anything to say, but because uh, they rounded up every actor over about fifty, Jeff obviously wasn't free that. I was, <laughs> darling, I was uh, to play busy. behind yeah. Meryl Streep to do all the uh, and uh, it was like an old boys reunion and uh, we had the most magnificent time and we were in the background of so many shots and uh, so that was uh, it was as I say you know it was like a sort of um, a, a wonderful um, meeting of old friends. And then in the middle of that, you had Meryl Streep, who's just the most gorgeous oh, actress you yeah. could ever l hope to work with. And she just joined in with the lads. You know, we had, we had you know, dinner every day with Meryl Streep for four weeks. And what's the hate about <laughs> that? Surprised yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Telling jokes and being Tastic. scurrilous and generally sort of irreverent. No, it could certainly be but, worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, what have you got planned for 2017 after this? Uh, well, I go straight on to a Mike Lee film uh, the day we finish this show, uh -huh. actually. So it starts rehearsals the day we finish. Um, and that job goes on till sort of September of next year, on and off. Um, beyond that, I've not got a clue, but that'll keep me busy till September, so, you know. Very uh, good. Be good. And you're doing a, another play for... I'm doing, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm sort of married to penury for, oh, uh, for the next... Three months. I'm doing a play called The Cardinal at the Sud at Southwark Playhouse, yeah. um, which hasn't been done since 1681, and I'm just hoping people say, ah, that's why. And he's been paid <laughs> and, uh, 1681 <laughs> wages. <laughs> but I, it's, a, it's a revenge tragedy by a chap called James Shirley. I, I was a contemporary of um, uh, Turner and Witchley and all those people. And uh, I thought, this is cracking, and it's a great part. He's a monstrous character. And I was going to say, he reminds me of Donald Trump, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and um, so I thought, oh, hell, I'll do it. Because I like the director. He's a, he's a chap I admire. And, um, so, but I'm, actually, funnily enough, and I've got a day on... I've just been offered a day on a Korean film. Oh, wow. Well, oh, amazing. Yeah. A, a Korean filmmaker? Or? Which will actually... No, it's a Korean it's film. I'm playing an American. Oh, right? OK. And... Uh, that will pay. That that will subsidise <laughs> <That'll pay laughs> your entire this, this <laughs> right period of the, poor yeah. theatre. I know it's crazy. So there you go. You rob Peter to it's pay Paul. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what about away from acting? What do you uh, What do you like doing? Well, um, I love music. He loves music. I like I like yeah. playing, and I I write when I'm not when I'm not acting. I'm always writing. So that keeps me busy. Um, spending uh, cooking. Yeah. Um, Cooking and spending some time with the family, which is always a treat. It always feels like a treat when you get a day off and you, they're all of you together. I think that's the best. Signature dish? Doing nothing. Signature dish? Oh gosh, I don't know. It'd probably be something like something. It'd be something Italian, Sicilian, probably. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I look forward to this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, five side football. 
Oh. I've been playing it every Sunday for 20 years in the Sobol Centre, actually, Finsbury oh, Park. Oh, yeah, it's down there. And it uh, keeps me sane and fit, mostly. And um, uh, that, and, and music, I, write, I still write music a bit, and I'm trying to get a, a musical version of the Decameron off the ground, actually. It's a oh, well. commercial tour, but whether I've been trying for years, you know, it's just, um, it, but it's, it's like another limb. The trouble is with acting. It's gorgeous to do for a living, and we're very, very, very lucky, but ultimately you're waiting to be wanted, you're a kind of puppet. Mm. And uh, what's nice about doing other things, like writing music, is you have more autonomy. It's more yeah, you have to have your own thing, otherwise yeah. I think you get, but you, it could be very dispersing, because you know <laughs> you, you can wait. And it's just the way that the, the, the dice roll, it has yeah. absolutely nothing to do with your talent. It's, it's something to do with, it's completely beyond your, your control, you can't, you, you can't make it happen. Yeah. So you have to have something, I think, in reserve that yeah, yeah, you're yeah. happy to get on with. And yes, yeah. And, and you're in control thing. of it. Yeah, absolutely. And you can set things up and, and instigate ideas rather than yeah. be, be at the yeah. behest of others. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot for your time. It's been an Thank absolute you. pleasure. Why should everyone come and see Raising Martha? It's just crazy funny. and uh, it's, it's a great if, night if out. You, think, if you, you know? like sat black comedy and satirical entertainment yeah you can't fail yeah i wholeheartedly agree thanks a lot is there anything else you'd like to say to theater news watchers uh, come and see us come yes, and see us soon we're not on for very long um, That's the, the we sad might thing be available that. in the bar afterwards for a yeah. chance <laughs> fantastic thank you very much indeed thanks a lot thank absolute you. pleasure Lovely to meet you thanks Bye.